Peggy Lipton had a career resurgence because of Twin Peaks. And she talks about that on uh, the December 3rd, 1990 episode of Good Morning America. She's interviewed by Joan London. And she's spectacular looking in this. Amazing. I, I'd say she was hotter the Twin Peaks era than she was in the Mod Squad era. She talks about how Twin Peaks got her credibility with her children, whereas Mod Squad got her made fun of for the hippie stuff. Freaking hippies. 38 minutes after, in a series chock full of eccentricities and oddballs, Peggy Lipton plays a pretty calm, cool person at the center of the Twin Peaks storm. Peaks freaks know her as the blessedly stable Norma Jennings, owner of the Double R Diner. Not that things are perfect, Husband Hank's been in jail. Big Ed, the man Norma really loves, is married to another woman. Well, say Norma. Oh, and Peggy Lipton is here with us. Hi, nice Hi, to see nice you. Nice to see you. How did you get involved in this show? Uh, I got lucky. <laughs> um, I just, I went and I met David and uh, he liked David me. David Lynch? Yes, David Lynch. It's interesting, David Lynch and Mark Frost. I mean, they, they've become known now as kind of liking to play with the audience you know right when you things are going along they'll do something that's completely unexpected how much do you all know the actors on the show about what's going to happen not too much really yeah we does that make it hard to play though well yes and no in, in a way it's sort of exciting but uh, you, you just have to hang on to your character your character's qualities so that if they throw you that punch in the middle that you can handle it because you're normal today, you could be a hatchet murderer in three weeks. That's you never right. know. <laughs> yeah, I, I call myself normal Norma, but it's true. You, 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 I don't know what she's going to do. So, what do, do you know anything? Can you tell us a little bit about what will happen to normal Norma? Um, I can't tell you too much, but uh, only that she gets um, a little wild, a little wilder. Uh, maybe a new love interest, I hear. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I would imagine. Interesting. I mean, Mod Squad. I mean, so many people were such big fans of the Mod Squad. And, and but after Mod Squad, you you stopped working for quite a while, so you could raise your children. Yes. who are now teenagers. Your teenage girls. What do they think now when they see mom on this kind of cult, really unusual show, Twin Peaks? Well, now I'm accepted. I wasn't accepted when they had to watch reruns of Mod Squad. That was not acceptable because they couldn't get over the, the bell bottoms and the whole look. But now that it's 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 uh, acceptable around their friends, so they really really enjoy it and they have little parties and and finally I'm like I've made it in their eyes. A any regrets ever from a career standpoint of taking so much time off? Was it tough to get back into it? It was very hard. It was very hard, but it was something I knew I had to do, but I don't have any regrets because I have this wonderful family, and so I never look at it like that. Yeah, good time devoted to raising children. But they were a little, they, they couldn't quite handle the 60s kind of hippie-ish <laughs> no. attire. You no. must laugh when you look back at those episodes. I just finally um, ditched all my clothes from then. You know, I thought, <laughs> I, I thought they'd wear it, and they'd go, Mom, are you kidding? We wouldn't be caught dead in it. You never know that stuff may come back. Well, it know. is coming back. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, separated from Quincy Jones in 1986, but I'm, I'm told that, um, and then you divorced, that you still have a very good relationship, yes. which is good, though, when you have kids, You have too. to. You have to have a good relationship with kids because they care as much about him as they do about me, so we have to include each other in each other's lives. Films, too? You just, you've been working on a film? I'm doing a you film You can fit now. that in, then, to the schedule? Yes. I'm doing a film called True Identity for uh, Disney, and um, Twin Peaks is wonderful because they have been accommodating. You know, there's so many actors on the show, and um, and we all are working on the outside because each one of us has a, a small part, and so they've been very accommodating. So I can I can have a career again, a real sure. It, it's so hard for any series these days, and there's always the talk about the possible ending of the yes. series. What's the mood on the show? What's the thought of the actors on the show? They think that they can have longevity and go on. I or? think so, and we just got picked up for the back nine which is great and so that makes it a full year this oh that's year. good news yes. yeah so I, I think uh, I think we all have hopes and yet if it doesn't work it's been a fabulous experience a great way to yeah. come back <laughs> in too yes, right on something yes. that's so much so talked about can you do, do you have any input into what happens to your character or is it oh sure oh sure and, and it, it's it's a wonderful feeling when you arrive on the set and and you feel secure about your character you know you I look at my diner I'm you know it's my really diner mine. It's my <laughs> the diner. double R and it feels wonderful I mean that part of a series is really wonderful yeah. daughter's gonna follow in the footsteps at all or you, um, one wants to be a lawyer and one wants to act I think so we'll see what happens well they have a good role model here thank you Peggy Lipton thank you very much thank you John good to see you thank you thank you for watching Cleveland live music if you like what you see hit the subscribe button there's further patronage information in the video descriptions below. Thanks for all the support in making the channel grow.